What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Me and uh, Slushy Games playing MGS, the Twin Snakes, doing part eight. Uh, last time we played, uh, pretty much just a big video of boss fights, honestly. Oh man, there's a big gun. Um, yeah, I did. Uh, oh yeah, fought the Hindi. No, that was the last episode. Went down the stairs, fought Sniper Wolf. Did a few little mini boss fights, and then I fought Vulcan Raven. And here we are. So I know in the original one, uh, I remember watching my older brother play it actually. This room has like 40 human pandas on it. As far as I remember, that's what it was. Then again, I literally did it, but I don't remember. underground base. Snake, it's me. What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear. But it's strange. What is? <coughs> There's nobody here. No guards, no yes, mechanics. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course. But there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Yeah, no guards. Yet there are guards. Snake, it's me again. How's it going? Um, uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I've never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, That's what she said. keep trying. I 
Damn it. Snake, I did it. You got past security? Bingo. Great. So what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? Haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. <sighs> I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean, it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one up until now? Because of the missile's rocket propulsion system. It would be picked up by enemy satellites. Because of that? But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. We learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world. It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. It would push back the signing of the START III Treaty. If word gets out about this weapon, it'd cause a whole world of trouble. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the President down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You've changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested. Only simulated. You mean with VR experiments? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So, you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find <laughs> out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. found out about the override system yet, but I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? That's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. Uh, I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That, plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like they were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah. And Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. Yeah, sure, it's like all the time we need.
Okay. I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernatin, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? Liquid. I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the president will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the president's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India... I see. <laughs> yes. When the other countries hear about the new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. One billion dollars? All for money. That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the fox dye vaccine in our demands. Fox dye? It killed Octopus and the arms tech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with amphetamine and adrenaline levels in the blood. They deployed a product still in development into live combat. No surprise it was unreliable. They must have been desperate. In any case, have you heard from your friend Colonel Sergei Golukovich at Spetsnaz yet? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm. He is a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and the new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. <laughs> their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? <laughs> that Golukovich, he's no warrior. He's, he's a politician. Maybe so, but he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we joined forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. It's going to be a long war. We could still escape. We have the new nuclear power, and we're going to ally with Golukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? Fighting the whole world? 
From here, we can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar and totally immune to interception. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. But boss, what about your promise to Colonel Gulukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, you can call this place Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden? If the code is entered again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him. Don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl, she's alive. Uh, we already knew that. <clears throat> Snake, I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So, how do we deactivate them? Okay, you see, the override system that the President was talking about, it can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? You need the keys for input. Three of them. But I only have the one. Where are the others? Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Yep. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. Maybe you want to do this when you're not trying to spy on people? There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. You input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First I change the shape of the card, and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system, and it's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's that? glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. 
Snake, you've got to get that key. So that took way too long, a lot longer than I thought it would. But I did it. I killed a rat. Number one confirmed. Awaiting pal code number two. Okay, that takes care of pal code number one. Now, pal number two, freeze the key.
Who's there? And now we just wait for it to turn blue or purple. Number two confirmed. Yay. Awaiting pal code number three. Okay, there goes pal code number two. Next comes pal number three. Warm the key.
not always in this one. Snake, it's about Naomi Hunter. Then you should talk to the Colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the Colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah. He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Die? No. Fox Die? Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines? She was in the best position to have done it. But I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay. I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages toward the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So, it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Is that all you think about? But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel.
but also it's the backtracking and the fact is that I have to wait. Everybody heads up, I am more than likely going to save and stop this video because we're running at like 50 something minutes. Of course with all my mistakes, maybe a lot less, but I don't want to have a, a two hour video of the ending. Snake, can you hear me? It's Naomi. Naomi? What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, 
Is what the Colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know anything. My parents' face is my name. The name and ID I have now I just bought. But the reason why I study genetics, that was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. My age, my race, anything. Naomi. I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. A dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long, until I met my big brother and him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier when he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Gray Fox. We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He is everything to me. The only proof I have of my existence. Of my existence as an individual. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. But then he and my brother went back to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you. And I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes, that's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. <laughs> like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? I'll have my revenge on them too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments. Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterward, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me. I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox... Naomi, tell me something. About fox dye? Fox dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes, created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages. They begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then, they cause a heart attack. The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme epitosis. Then, the victim dies. Apoptosis. You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. 
I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Die. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Die as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that... No. That's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing that I wanted to tell you was... Snake... Hey! What are you doing? Naomi? Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? Okay, Alright, ladies and germs, uh, this next episode will probably be the last, so I'm gonna save right here and end the game for now. Uh, I got quite a bit of things to do tonight. Naomi's under arrest. What the hell is happening over there? What's the Colonel thinking? Colonel Campbell is. I'm sorry, I can't say any more, but please believe me, I'm here to help you until the end. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, I got, I'm, I got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow and today, so... <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the end of this episode. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I really do hope you enjoyed it, even though a lot of it was backtracking. But there was a big exposition in this level. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you... Probably in the last part, which might go over an hour. Just saying. Mm -hmm.